I've seen is uh, uh, an example of a uh, Pan 37 uh, crew unlimbering their gun and firing it and the first shot at enemy tanks and my second command was at uh, enemy soldiers. The 37 millimeter anti-tank gun was the most prolific gun used in World War II. Every country had its own version of this uh, weapon. All the American tanks that you see out here today have the same size gun as this. This gun could penetrate about two inches of armor at about a thousand meters. It was used throughout the entire war, even though it became obsolete pretty early in the war because of the uh, increased armor on the uh, uh, Allied tanks, because it was so easy to maneuver and move around by uh, a small group of men. The uh, uh, squad that would handle this would actually be uh, six men. They would have actually had a driver as well as the, uh, you know, the uh, gun commander, the loader, the assistant loader, uh, the gunner, and one of the trail men. Uh, this uh, weapon would be used against fixed uh, emplacements obviously uh, of tanks, and they had high explosive shells to be used against uh, infantry. Uh, so with that, if there's any questions? All right, thank you. An excellent display from all parties. Thank you very much, guys. Deck. And then basically, the number two position, you're going to feed the shell line with two fingers. And what happens is you get two little, two little blocks, mm -hmm. then, and then okay, kind of, you might have to just kind of reach around a little bit to make sure it closes or slams home. It should pop open, that should come forward. And the loader, say, Galati, that loaded. Ready and then like, oh, you know, the gun command that you know, loads or pull you up at that point in time. Bang. Hey man, I, I knew you guys out here. I saw your name and registration. Shell comes out. You pick up a, if you had a third guy, number two would be here, he would have been cup. But he would just come in and slam this in. Once those. Once you slam it, it in, the breach should close on its own. The Laden 